We know that uh, the Earth's climate is warming up, but the, the problem we have at the moment is we don't really know what the consequences of that warming will be on, say, life or uh, the chemistry of the oceans, ocean acidification, etc. So a lot of my work um, tries to understand how this has occurred in past episodes of global warming in the Earth's history. This is the only way we ever get evidence of uh, how the climate system responds to changes in temperature by looking at these past events and trying to understand uh, what occurred as the Earth warmed and using that information to understand what will happen in the future. A lot of the work we've been doing in more modern environments recently is to again try to understand how chemical weathering and the climate interact, but much more in terms of uh, a more rapid, more modern systems. So a lot of the work we've been doing is on how glaciers affect weathering. We know that glaciers are melting due to uh, a warming climate and that means they're exposing, as they melt back, they're exposing a lot of very ground up material that the, the glaciers, as the glaciers have gone over the, uh, the land, they've ground material up very fine and this, as they go back, as they melt, they're exposing them to chemical weathering. This means that chemical weathering in theory is uh, increasing, which means it's removing more carbon dioxide and also changing uh, the chemical composition of the rivers that flow into the oceans and so eventually will change the chemical composition of the oceans. But this is something we're really trying to understand and characterise to see how uh, the gradual disappearance of the glaciers is going to affect the Earth's natural carbon cycle and therefore what will happen as we add carbon to this cycle as well.